there is a special magical time of day that you can leverage to effortlessly align with the universe and make your desires a reality. Now, if you ever feel like you've tried every trick in the book to manifest the life you truly want, but nothing seems to work, you've watched all the Law of Attraction videos, read all the books, and affirmed endlessly for abundance, but your bank account is still empty and your big dreams remain out of reach. I totally get it, and I have great news for you. As I said, there is a specific time. This powerful time has been used for centuries by yogis, spiritual seekers, and high achievers to manifest their goals. I'm talking about the ancient Indian concept of Brahma Muhurta, also known as the How of Brahma. Brahma Muhurta refers to the time period of roughly 90 minutes before dawn. Usually it's between 3.40 a.m. in the morning to 5.30 a.m. According to Vedic philosophy, this twilight period is the most auspicious time for spiritual practice, prayer and manifestation. In this video, I'll explain what makes Brahma Muhurta so potent and teach you how to harness this mystical time of day to manifest your biggest goals and dreams faster. When followed consistently, these simple yet profoundly effective techniques will open you to receive all that you desire. Keep watching to learn how to use the magic of Brahma Muhurta to create the life you truly want. What makes Brahma Muhurta so potent for manifestation? In yogic philosophy, it's considered a sacred transition between night and day where our subtle energetic channels are most open and receptive. The serene predon atmosphere creates ideal conditions for going inward without distraction. There's an aura of stillness and creative potentiality. Ancient Vedic texts praise Brahma Muhurta as Amrit Vila, the ambrosial hours of divine nectar. As Yogi Bhajan said, Amrit Vila is when the individual mind enters its subconscious depths. Brahma Muhurta resonates with Sattva Guna, the quality of purity, clarity and lightness. Sattvic energy permeates creation at this time. The hours before dawn are ruled by Lord Vishnu, the sustainer of the universe. Scriptures say Vishnu's peaceful, life-giving Shakti flows abundantly during Brahma Muhurta. Lord Brahma, the creator, awakens during this period to begin a new cycle of creation. Thus it's the optimal window to access creativity and envision goals. The Vedas say that Brahma Muhurta has the power to remove suffering, bestow peace of mind and fulfill desires when intention is fused with divinity's grace. On a scientific level, our brain chemistry and hormones generate prime conditions for manifestation at this time. Melatonin secretion peaks, creating heightened clarity. Cortisol levels are low, reducing stress and anxiety. Brain waves shift to more alpha and theta, the same pattern seen during deep meditation. This allows profound visualization and subconscious access. In numerology, sunrise occurs at the one hour of each day, relating to new beginnings and manifestation. Brahma Muhurta precedes this, so does other religion which I will explain later on at the end. So, Brahma Muhurta holds enormous transformational potential. The veil between conscious and unconscious is thinner and more porous. By devotionally leveraging these precious predon hours, we can profoundly enhance our ability to set intentions, manifest goals, and attract abundance in alignment with our sole purpose. Now let's explore how to harness Brahma Muhurta's powerful potential. There are two. You can use only one. First, wake up 90 to 120 minutes before local sunrise. This allows time for practice before dawn. Begin with prayer or mantra to set a sacred focused tone. Chanting activates spiritual receptivity. Take a name for five minutes, whoever you believe in, whether it's Ram, Allah, Jesus, Waheguru, or whomever you want as your God. Now, when you have taken their name for five minutes, 
begin writing down goals and affirmations. This engages the mind. Pen to paper imprints intentions deeply. Try writing the problem that troubles you. Write it in such a way that the specific problem is no longer your problem. For example, if you are worried about money, instead of saying not having money is your problem, write on the paper that there is no money problem in my life. All my wishes are fulfilled easily, my income is greater than before, and my business or job is going very well. I thank God and you for this. Do this for at least 10 minutes at the same time. Alternatively, you can also use this time to write affirmations in the present tense, such as I am joyfully making $10,000 a month at my dream job. Always make them positive. After writing, visualize and feel your desire as already achieved. Now, you need to read that daily, but writing is only done on the first day. After this, sit in the Gyan Mudra also known as the psychic gesture of knowledge. You can sit on the bed and imagine that whatever work you are doing, whatever work you earn money from, is going very well and you and your family are very happy. You are receiving payment and you are also paying people with great happiness. Imagine it in such a way that you feel that happiness with every breath. Engage all your senses. See, hear, feel and taste success. Make your visualizations as vivid as possible. Meditate on your heart's deepest desires being fulfilled. Let your imagination flourish. Stay focused in the feeling state for as long as you can. This raises your energetic vibration. Release your intentions with faith, trust in divine timing and higher wisdom. Consistency magnifies the benefits. Commit to your practice daily, especially first thing in the morning. As you do this over time, you will receive help and solutions will come to you. You have to do this meditation for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, let's move on to another meditation step. To do this, you have to wake up between 3.40 to 5.30 in the morning. It's mandatory to wake up at this time according to your time zone. After that, pray to your God, then take the name of your God for nearly 11 minutes. After 11 minutes, say your wish three times. Whatever you want, say the wish three times. The main thing here is to try having a shower only if possible. If it's winter or a cold day, you don't have to take a shower. Having a shower is not mandatory. You can do this while sitting on the bed. Just be clean from the face and don't eat anything before doing this. Do not let any other thoughts enter your mind. In the beginning, you may have some problems, but when you do this for seven days, you will start seeing results on your own. Issues will be resolved. To those whom I have shared this, some of them got results on the first day, like they received signs. Now it's up to you how much you do it and with how much confidence you do it. The whole process takes 20 to 25 minutes. Try it dot so as I said, before the principles of Brahma Muhurta are found across many spiritual traditions, speaking to the universal potency of this predon time period. In Islam, prayers before sunrise are considered greatly blessed. The Prophet Muhammad awoke for tahajjud prayers and contemplation at this hour, gaining divine inspiration. Catholic monastics arise before light for matins prayers and reflection, believing these devotions uplift the soul at dawn's approach. In Sikhism, the ambrosial hours before sunrise are called Amrit Vela. Guru Nanak taught meditating at this twilight time to experience connection with the divine. Many Buddhist monks awaken before first light to devote time for meditation, chanting and spiritual practices. The calm clarity of Predom aids their progress. In Judaism, Ancient custom encourages waking before dawn to pray, recite affirmations of faith like Moda Ernie and set spiritual intention for the day. Across Native American traditions, the hours before sunrise are considered the most potent for sacred ceremony, ritual and visioning. The mystic science of yoga also recognizes Brahma Muhurta as an auspicious window of practice. In the Yoga Sutras, 
Patanjali describes it as the optimal time to begin sadhana or spiritual practice. When the world is calm and the mind tranquil in the early hours, yoga's techniques have enhanced effect. The vital energy is already flowing inward, allowing deeper awareness. Thus yoga teaches awakening before dawn to devote time for meditation, pranayama, mantras and intention setting in order to maximize the benefits of practice. So we see across faiths, cultures and ancient wisdom traditions, the predom hours hold particular power for spiritual devotion and manifestation. The universal recognition of Brahma Muhurta's potency echoes the words of ancient Vedic Rishis. The ambrosial hours of morning immortality are at Brahma Muhurta. If doubts or resistance arise during your practice, respond with self-compassion. This is normal. Gently acknowledge these feelings, then bring your focus back to your vision with patience and faith. Stay centered in the belief that your intentions are manifesting in perfect divine timing. Affirm, I'll release any doubts to the universe. My true nature is abundant. Keeping a detailed manifestation journal is powerful for tracking insights, progress and signs from the universe confirming your desires are coming to fruition. Record breakthroughs, synchronicities and any evidence of movement towards your goals. Reviewing your journal will keep you motivated and centered on your manifestations. Optimizing sleep hygiene is key to waking up refreshed for Brahma Muhurta. Go to bed early enough to get 7 to 8 hours of sleep. Limit screen time before bed. Read calming books. Take magnesium. Create a restful sleep environment. Whatever helps you sleep deeply. Ask your body what it needs to naturally wake up early. With consistent, devoted practice, Brahma Muhurta's magic will reveal itself in astonishing ways. Remain open to miracles both big and small. Keep shining the light of your powerful intentions, and the universe will respond. You have immense capability to create the life you truly desire. Success, abundance, and blessings await you. I hope this video provides you with a profound daily ritual to transform your reality. Please like, comment and share if you found this helpful. Together, we can support each other in manifesting our highest potential. I wish you tremendous joy, love and light on your journey.